All right, here we're going to look at one more example of multiplying decimals. So we're going to do 51.5 times 0 0.014. So let's see, 51.5 times 0 0.014. All right, so let's see, 4 times 5 is going to be 20, so I'm going to drop down the 0 and carry the 2. 4 times 1 will be 4, plus 2 will be 6, and then 4 times 5 will be 20. Okay, let's see, so I'm going to add my 0, and then 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 5 is 5, 2 zeros, and then if we multiply, we would just have 0 times 5, 1, and 5, which will be 0, 0, and 0. Then we can add in our next row. This time we'll have three zeros, but again, if you multiply by zero, you'll just get a bunch of zeros. Okay, so now we're going to add all this stuff together. The first column, we'll just get zero. Six plus five is 11, so we'll keep the one and carry the one. One plus one is two. Two plus five is seven. And then we were left with a couple of zeros. And again, now I just count. So to the right of the decimal sign, we have one digit, two digits, three digits, four digits total to the right of the decimal sign. So that's how many places I've moved my decimal. So one place, two places, three places, four places. So it says if we multiply 51.5 times uh, 0 0.014, we'll be left with 0.721. Zero as our solution.